ಇನ್ನು ಶ್ರೀಪಾದ್ ಬುಧತ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸರ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಯಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ he is also a very renowned astrologer he told me that you will preach our whole world i could not think even that i will go to all countries but he told that you will be able to you will go and everywhere you can you will preach now i am saying that uh, oh he is astrologer i want to make him a astrologer of golok vrindavan <laughs> in the line of garga charge <laughs> you know he was so much great astrologer in the whole world so i wish that he should be disciple of garga char and he should serve krishna and radha and all others he will speak some four lines that why i have come here he is helping so much i think that all are helping me to preach the same thing same message <coughs> same object that chaitanya mahaprabhu has come to preach rup goshami chaitanya mono bhishtam he told after that ragunath goshami jiu goshami narottam thakur krishna das kabraj goshami and after that baldev vidyabhushan vishwanath chakravarti thakur baldev vidya bhushan and after that shri bhakti minon thakur and after that shri bhakti siddhant saraswati goshami prabhupad he came and after that my guru ji nitya lila pravishtam vishnu parsi sum bhakti pragyan kesho goshami maharaj and my shiksha guru reverend ashtotar shastri mad bhakti vedan swami maharaj and as he told that he has ordered me to help his devotees in so many ways so i want that he should tell four lines something om agyan tamarandasya gyananjana salakaya chakshulan naitam jena tasmai shri gurave namaha ವಂಚಗೋಪತಿಭ್ಯಸ್ಥ ಕೃಪಸಿಂಧಿತೇವ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ ದಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಸೈ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ವೆರಿ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಕವ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಡೋ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಐಮ್ ಗೋನ್ ಡು ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ದಟ್ uh i get delivered to that post <laughs> but i'll ask all of you to second his blessing <laughs> so that i get there thank you very much marsh <laughs> um just a few words uh we all are part of a fantastic wonderful spiritual society sometimes <clears throat> our acharyas have described how that society is manifest to the external eye and sometimes our acharyas have described how that society appears to be unmanifested by material calculation it's very difficult to determine how this spiritual sangha is actually uh uh working in the deepest way one thing is for sure um and speaking as an astrologer uh i can say that all of the devotees of shila prabhupad shila shridhar maharaj uh shila bhakti pramod puri maharaj shila bhakti vedanta narayan maharaj all of these devotees all of these vaishnavas are great souls and great saints <clears throat> we live in the kali yuga and sometimes the dirt of the kali yuga covers us or affects us in the way that we execute 
our service. And there's a great deal of dirt in the Kali Yuga. And at different times, all of us here were big boys and girls. We're all mature. We've been through a lot. We know that those forces which are inimical to the spreading of pure bhakti and the tenets which have been presented by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, those forces are not very happy with the liberating, uplifting, and uh, pure message which is given by our acharyas. In many ways, these forces have at times brought havoc into our sangha, and in some cases, either collectively or personally, distracted us from the path of bhakti. This has, from a social point of view, had <clears throat> some unfortunate effects, but I'm always encouraged because I know that in the heart of real devotees, there is a tenacity to hold on to the lotus feet of Sri Guru and Garanga, no matter what happens uh, in our lives. For a long time now, I have watched the astrological chart of, of ISKCON, what I call the mystical body of ISKCON, the great Sangha of Vaishnavas in the universe. And I have seen how this period of time would herald a new beginning, <clears throat> a refreshing of, of preaching, in a way very different from what we've experienced so far. And I felt that that, that Sangha would happen in a very spontaneous, natural, almost grassroots type of manner where devotees are reaching out and helping each other and helping and encouraging each other to uh, be powerful and be uh, true to the mission of Mahaprabhu and do as much as we can to serve the parampara. But um, it's a great drama. It's actually a cosmic drama. The forces that we talked about, they're the antagonists. But the protagonists are the great s saints and sadhus who come just in the nick of time when all seems lost or all seems uh, uh, devastated, when we're forlorn or morose or despondent. And uh, it was with great pleasure that indeed I came across the chart of Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj, even in practical, practically speaking, before I, I had any association with him. And I could see that here is one of, here is one of uh, Sri Sri Radha Krishna's messengers. Here is one of the great uh, sadhus, the great associates of my beloved Gurudev, Srila Prabhupada. And so I was very, very happy. And uh, I think uh, my experience in traveling with him and in associating with him and in seeing the, the magical effect of being with a sadhu who is so deeply immersed in Krishna Kata, in remembrance of Krishna, what a wonderful effect it has for the devotees. And so I uh, should say only that I'm very happy that, that you're all here. Um, I'm very happy that you've taken the steps to come and, and listen to the Hari Kata that Maharaj will present to us. And I'm truly hopeful that <clears throat> the sectarian feelings, um, the feelings of I and mine, um, the feelings of animosity, which sometimes exists in our dealings, that this dirts of the Kali Yuga will uh, be washed <clears throat> from our hearts by Maharaj's uh, association. So I wish that all for you. Thank you.